What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus, the channel of trading, faith, and wealth. Today, we are going to be going over a strategy with Moku trading inside the clouds. This is a strategy that I believe a lot of people don't really use much because a lot of people that use each local are taught not to trade with inside the cloud. So I'm going to be showing you how you can trade inside the cloud. But before we go into that, I just want to say you guys that uh, I don't have a, a scripture, but I just have encouraging words for you today because I know a lot of people are going through a lot these days, especially with, you know, uh, the, you know, coronavirus going on, the, the riots, Black Lives Matter movement, everything, all this stuff that's going on. So what's crazy is, um, you know, people are losing track and losing sight of God. And that's the key right now. We need to be focused on God too it's at this point in life. The thing with that right now, the big thing about that right now, a lot of people don't understand that there's spiritual warfare going on. You could check out Ephesians 6 and 12 if you, you know, don't believe me, but <laughs> there's spiritual warfare going on with uh, demonic activity in higher places that are taking, that are manifesting on earth. So, you know, you guys, the best way to combat, you know, spiritual forces is by knowing God's word and getting into his word because his word is the sword that we need to have to fight. The more word and the more scripture you know in the word, uh, know about God, that's how you combat you know, the, the things of the enemy, the devil. So you fight him with your praise, you fight him with your worship, you fight him with the word of God. You lean not to your own understanding, but you pray and fight for the things that God has for you. So that's the message I have for you guys today. Before we get into the, the strategy that I have for you guys, I just wanted to say that because a lot of people are going through right now and a lot of people do this. So I want to say, let's get into this strategy. So I'm going to show you two areas. This works with Forex, crypto, whatever you want to trade. It works for anything that you want to trade. But we're going to look at this area right here. And, and I'm going to do this. Take this off. And make this visible on the lower time frame as well so we get an idea of what's going on here so yeah we're good and then i want you guys to see the area as well so i'm gonna go over one forex pair and one crypto so let's go over this one first because this was back in the past okay, this, let me show you what i do when it comes to you know, this Whenever you're stuck in the cloud, like right here, we think it's going to be a bullish move. You got this bullish cloud forming. Um, price also broke out, but it kind of rejected this. So we know that this area is um, a lot of resistance and support area when you get into the cloud. So it's a lot of turbulence, actually. So, what I do, depending on what time frame I see it at, what I do, I mark up the time frame that I'm looking at. I mark the highs and lows. I mark the bottom of the album. So what I would do, I would go to the four hour time frame. And you see here, this is the range that we're in. So just to you know, make sure I see how price is being reacted. We have a bearish crop TK cross right here. That secret span A is down in secret span B is flat. So that's what I like to see right there, that this A is coming down for a downward move. What I like to see is for price to break down this cloud and then see the downside, right? So I usually look at two time frames. I look at the four hours and I look at the one hour for a better entry. Here's where I'm looking for my real entry. What I like to see here is a break at this level. Right, you know, Right there, this is the fractal level that we need to break for price to move lower. I would wait for it for anything. If I make any type of move, my drawings. So right here, I, I want to see key angle down. I will see and P angle down. I want to see A angle down. So I want to see this angle down. 
a break here. Down side. So that's one thing that I'd like to see. I trade it with the fractals once I get that break here, looking for a downward movement. But when you look at this range here, let me show you guys something. When you look at this range here, you see that there's a lot of anything could happen inside this, inside the car. It could go up or down. So when that's the first thing you need to in your mind when you're trading inside the car, that it go this way or it could go this way when it's inside the car. But to negate that, you need to check more time frames, see if there's any other action that's showing you otherwise. So we have a bearish cross code. We have a thin cloud here too. This cloud is starting to get weak. That's another confirmation that we could be moving to the downside. Now, here we're underneath the cloud. So this is showing us that we're in a bearish trend here, right? So we conf confirm that we have a bearish market. So what we need to see, like I said before, we need to see this angle down and this angle down, but we need to break at the fractal level. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to play it. If I get that break, if I don't get that break, then I'm like, so now here's what, this is what I was looking for. This move here, we have it angling down. We have this angling down. And the key Jensen and the Tinky Jensen are both angling down together. So now I'm gonna put my my shorts in this area. Maybe wait for a pullback if it comes down. But this I'm looking pretty pretty confident that it's, like it's gonna start going down. We broke the fractal level pretty clean. Kiku spent underneath this level as well. We got all of our confirmations here. I'm looking for the downside and then let's see how it plays out. Clicking a little bit. We did have some weak action going on, but more so we're still underneath the cloud. This market is still strong to the downside in my opinion. Look here. This was that area on the daily time frame that I had marked. It broke this level too. Down even further. So what you want to do, you really want to wait for a clean break. We did it. We got a clean break here, but Look at that wick that form. So you want to can't wait on a candle like this one right here. And then you know, wait for the next candle and go down. Because you don't want a bearish candle in it. You need really push candle. You want to see price, you know, make lower lows. Make a lower low. And down this. So if we went down to the 15, then you see the price went down this here. So this was actually a good setup. Wait for that factor break here. It did come back retest. So usually market likes to retest. That's what I look for. And came back to retest the key gen level. Could have actually got in right here before this. And so right here, this candle you could have definitely it was a key bounce of the key gen right here. Price action right here. Take that trade to. So that was a bad move. If I just play the full speed, yeah, price definitely moved lower. Yeah, it held this trend line here. If you have it held this trend right here. So that's one thing that I noticed is uh, while the, while the market was moving, it pretty much held this channel right here. That was a good sign right there. And next one that we have, current market. Go to the daily real quick. This is where the price is currently at. So same exact thing is going on this market right here. What I like to see is for this market to, you know, I like to see this market, you know, on the lower time frame. So how I would mark it, I would mark the high and low. If we want to mark this fractal here, I'm going to mark this area because it's like that. And that here. Low. Also, right in. So now I have a range here. I will go to the four hour chart. So, same thing. We're underneath the cloud here. A little flat. I need this anything. Have I need to see kind of this angle? 
but it looks like this is starting to roll, you know, roll over. So we'll see how that performs. But I still think this market's got a range of to the four hour time frame. I'm not going to hesitate to jump in. I mean, here on the one hour chart, we're crashing inside the cloud, the cheapest bands in here. So the market's definitely ranging. We might get some purple cloud, blue cloud, back and forth action in a couple weeks. We'll see how this market acts. Uh, depending on if there's some heavy news for dollar or Aussie, uh, we'll see if the market, you know, how it acts. But right now, there's no real move here unless it breaks this fractal level according to daily time. So using this strategy on a crypto pair, let's look at the cryptos real quick. Fine for you guys. Let's just let's just mess with an example. So right in here, here we have ice cap same thing. Right? So let's go back in time just a bit. So we get an idea of where this level is. So So whenever you see a cloud, let's actually go further back. So let's go for a little. Mm. All right, so when we're trading in this range here, because I don't want to jump too quick here, mark the high, mark the low, and also, you know, you could mark the low as well. So now we're inside the cloud. Let's go ahead and go to the four hour chart. You see that the market's above the cloud, so this market's moving up from what it looks like. And then also, go ahead and draw that trend line there. We could come back down here and get a bounce. One hour, and the one hour shows that we're on, we're moving down on an underneath the cloud. So we can definitely come down here and then bounce up here. But we're looking for price action. We're gonna see if we could, if price is gonna wanna come back to this level. If it doesn't, then we have another level we can play off of right here and see if it breaks this level to the upside. But right now, let me go ahead and play that and see what happens. Um, all right, so we did break this level right here. We got a break at this point. So let's zoom in there. So we had this break here. We had Kijinson and Tinkinson angled up together, which is a strong chance of the upside. Got your A, B, uh, sequence plans angled up and Kijinson angled up. But the break right here was perfect. So this is how you trade, you know, looking at it on a smaller time frame. I mean, trading inside the cloud. Uh, if I was continue playing this, I'm pretty sure you get more. But yes, if you're going to trade this strategy, make sure you circle, you know, use the ellipse tool, the circle the area, put a line or a ray on the flat part of the cloud, put a bottom line in the cloud and then find your in-between areas, right, like the flat right here. So, and if you're playing, you could also have put it here as well. Right here. Right there, since this is also this is also a fractal level as well. So that's how you could play, you know, inside the cloud. I, I don't, you know, mind trading inside the cloud. A lot of people don't try to trade inside the cloud, but it is effective. You know what to look for. Hope you guys found this strategy, you know, pretty useful. God bless you guys, and stay tuned for the next strategy. And comment, you know, in the comment section below on what strategies you would like to see. If you want to trade anything, you, know, if you want to you know, improve your trading with each emote. But uh, that being said, God bless you guys and 